I'm going to tell you about what's new and changing in Washington, D.C. in 2024. If you're planning to visit, these are all things you'll want to know about. Let's start with two of the most popular national monuments, the Lincoln Memorial and Jefferson Memorial. Both are currently undergoing major renovations. At the Jefferson Memorial, they're currently working on a new exhibit space under the main chamber, which will include new restrooms, new retail stores, and a much needed new elevator, as well as other general accessibility improvements, like updating the sloped sidewalks on the side of the memorial, and a few boring but necessary upgrades to mechanical systems, plumbing, and electrical. Over at the Lincoln Memorial, the historic Undercroft, which basically includes the space under the stairs and the statue of Abe Lincoln, is being transformed. The plan is to create a 15,000 square foot exhibit space, basically a small museum, to tell the stories of the historic events that have happened here at the Lincoln Memorial over the years. The project will also include new restrooms, a new bookstore, and very importantly, new elevator. Both of these memorials are open during renovation, and they have added temporary accessibility features in the meantime. By the way, if you're new around here, hello! My name is Rob. I'm a tour guide and founder of Trip Hacks DC Tours. On this channel, I share my best tips, tricks, and travel hacks for visitors who want to explore Washington, DC. And I'm curious to know, are you planning a visit in 2024? This month, I'm going to be restarting my Q&A series here on YouTube. So if you have a question about your trip that I haven't yet answered, go ahead and leave it as a comment on this video or any video, and I might make a YouTube short in response. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you aren't already so you don't miss that. There's big news this year over at the Folger Shakespeare Library. After a huge three-year renovation, the library is scheduled to reopen this summer. The renovation includes two new exhibition spaces, a permanent Shakespeare display, a cafe, and public gardens. Believe it or not, the Folger is the world's largest collection of printed Shakespeare works. The award-winning Folger Theater did reopen at the end of 2023. So if you're into the Bard, you can already go and check out one of his plays. Another big museum reopening already happened last fall. The National Museum of Women in the Arts wrapped up its big two-year renovation to create new, bigger, better exhibition spaces and more interactive exhibits. It's the world's first museum dedicated exclusively to women artists. It's not a free museum, which unfortunately means in Washington, D.C., sometimes gets overlooked. But if you're into art, it really is quite good. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of self-promotion and tell you about the updated plan for Trip Hacks DC Tours, because I am making some changes and doing some experimenting in 2024. This spring, starting on March 20th, there will be three Trip Hacks DC Tours offered. The private tour with me, which is a tour of the monuments and memorials on the National Mall and Tidal Basin. And on a private tour, I am your tour guide and it will be exclusively for your group. Then I'm piloting a new concept that I'm calling a semi-private tour. This tour is ticket-based and I am capping it at only 10 tickets per tour to keep the experience small and personal. This one is currently on the calendar for four Saturdays during spring break. March 23rd, March 30th, April 6th, and April 13th. The reason that I'm piloting this tour is because I get messages from people all the time about how they would love to do a private tour, but the cost is prohibitive. And this tends to be especially true for solo travelers and traveling couples. So if that's you, this is it. Now's your chance. If this semi-private tour concept is successful, I'll probably continue it into the summer months. And if it's not successful, I'll just switch back to doing exclusively private tours this summer. The monumental trivia tour with Christine is 
also coming back and starting this spring. It's running on Wednesday evenings during the spring months, and some dates are already sold out. This is a really fun tour, and Christine is an excellent tour guide, so if you're at all interested in this one, go ahead and book it. Now, on to some sad news for 2024. The giant pandas at the National Zoo have left and traveled back to China. So 2024 will be the first year in over a half a century where the National Zoo does not have pandas. I'm not gonna lie, this one hurts. But if there's any silver lining to it, I hope that it's without the pandas, people might start exploring the other exhibits at the zoo. It's still a really great zoo and completely free. A big anniversary is coming up at the Hirschhorn Museum on the National Mall. It opened in 1974, which makes this year its 50th birthday. They are planning on having special anniversary events, exhibitions, and programming. And reopening the Hirschhorn Sculpture Garden, which has been under renovation for the past few years. A few new hotels are in the pipeline to open in 2024. Arlo is going to open a hotel in the historic Harrison Apartments Building, which is DC's oldest surviving historic apartment building from the 1800s. The James, a high-end hotel brand, is opening its first property in DC. And the Salamander Hotel is a rebrand of the Mandarin Oriental. It's been undergoing a big renovation, which should be completed this year. And it's getting a highly anticipated celebrity chef restaurant as well. I've always said not to sleep on DC's theater scene, and 2024 is shaping up to have quite an exciting calendar. Ain't Too Proud is playing at the Kennedy Center in February. The Book of Mormon at the National Theater in March. Little Shop of Horrors is coming to Ford's Theater in March. Yes, that Ford's Theater has plays that you can go and see. The Illusionists will play at the Kennedy Center in April. The Kite Runner is on the calendar there in June. And Back to the Future, the musical in July, which I am personally looking forward to the most as Back to the Future is one of my all-time favorite movies. Washington DC is not as famous as Broadway in New York City, but if you're into this kind of entertainment, there's a lot to like. And this is only a preview of what's coming in 2024. If you're looking for even more, you should watch my 50 things to do in DC video. Just go ahead and click or tap right over there to watch it now. Enjoy your trip.